my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboy with Logan Stone. So, I've realised I've parked in a really stupid place here. There's no way of really turning round, so um, I'm going to want to really move move my car as soon as possible, really. Because if I get stuck, that that's it. I, there's no way of really turning round. Um, so we're going to want to do this carefully. Careful, careful. There we go. Right. Okay. Oh, and there's loads of zombies. Okay. Um, yeah, the other thing was I did off camera. I had a little scout around. There's just too many zombies in West Point. Way too many. The, the risk is not worth it for basically to find some... To find the pieces of the railway. Like, th there's so many hordes dotted around. Yeah, I just I just don't think it's worth it. Honestly. So um we're gonna we're gonna bail. <laughs> we're gonna bail on West Point. From my little scout round, there's so many hordes. So many zombies all bunched up together that it basically makes it impossible for me to do anything. And I could technically try and take them out bit by bit, but honestly, it would take so much work. And I don't really have the patience to do it. You know, even even now there's like 10, 20. And alarms going off. Right. That might be a blessing in disguise. Yeah, there's just too many. I could potentially fight them all, but I've got a very weak weapon. I've got my the metal bar. Isn't the greatest condition in the world anyway. I don't even know where we are anymore. Yeah, we're still in the residential bit. Right, we could potentially get out here. About oh god, there's more there. Okay, let's uh, try and lose them round the side. Just gonna have a quick look in here, just quickly, cause I can. Crap. Okay, there's nothing, nothing worth it in there. Okay, loop round. Loop back round. Get in the car. Right, let's just go. It's, it's these alarms that I've... It's, it's the setting that I put it on myself. It's just making it so much harder for me to actually loot anything. Oh. Um, right, well, we're in the city centre now. God, okay. Yeah, everything's... Yeah, everything's just going to be set off. I saw a trailer back there for gas, but I just, yeah, I couldn't take it even if I wanted to. But God, look at it all. Right, there's a construction site down here. Oh, but again, too many zombies. Way too many. Right, let's just head on further down. This is a storage lot. Potential good if there's not that too many in there. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. I think I'm going to risk it. Okay, let's lose them over here. Just slowly move around. Hopefully not, not many of them should follow us. We're right that side. Just want to let these few come to us and we'll be fine. Right, okay, we'll just wait for these two, few to come around and then we'll get them. In the meantime, can we get in here? No, let's, uh, let's disassemble the door. There we go. Are they still coming? Yeah, still coming. Head on in. Oh, there's already some stuff here. Cool. <gasps> miniature trees and a silencer. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know you could get the miniature stuff in here. <gasps> oh, that opens so many potentials. Oh, that was just open. Cool. Okay. That butane soldering bent. Yeah, I'll take that. <gasps> Scenic grass. 
Oh my god, we can actually get stuff in here. Oh, this is big. This is really, really big. We might actually find everything we need in here then. Oh, imagine if we got everything from here. That would, that would be amazing. God, look at this. Hobby, yeah. How many hobbyists are there in like in this? Miniature trees again? Actually, there was an empty gas can. We'll take that as well. Oh, train tracks. Oh my god, there literally is everything. More hobby tent kit and some gas. Sure. Oh, this is like the best find. I was only expecting to... Well, I was only hope. Oh my god. More miniature trees. I was only hoping to get a sledgehammer in here. I wasn't even thinking about the railway set. Another train set. More scenic grass. God, we might actually get... I was, I was kind of semi-joking when I said getting it all, but... We, we're actually... Yeah. How far are we at? We've already got, I think, one scenic grass back in the car, I think. So we need one more track, because we've already got one back at the base. I need a couple of structures. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Okay, some furniture. Base volume three. Not, not overly fussed about any of that. Right, okay, so we need to somehow break down the rest of these doors then. Despite the fact we don't have any way of actually breaking them down. So, we could potentially use a hammer. It'll take forever to do, but we could use it. Sure, let's, uh, let's go to town. Oh god. How did you even get in? Where did you come from? Seriously, where did you come from? Did you break down the door? You must have just been in the corridor or something. That slightly worrying. Oh, did I not open these ones? I didn't even look in these. Oh my god, more scenic grass. This is insane. Oh my god, so happy with this. Empty. That's a nice chair. Black fancy chair. Hmm. Empty. Probably painted kit. Yep, sure. Magazine, yep. Take the world as uh, I don't know how many of them we got. Few, I think. Uh, another tent kit. Take the tent kits. That's all of it, I think. Little one. Oh my god, look at all this. Oh, structure, we need two of them. Same, yeah. Oh, look at this stuff. I'll take the baseball bat, actually. That's that's big. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's a lot of stuff here to unpack. It, literally and uh, metaphorically. Another propane torch. That'll be nice. Extinguisher. Quite cool. I'll take that. Right, so I'm somehow going to need to get all this stuff into the car outside. God knows how I'm going to do that. There were a few zombies, though, weren't there? it around. I might have to go back out and see what I can do. Hmm. What's down there? Is that a warehouse? It looks like a warehouse. There might be an axe in there that I can use to break down the rest of the uh, storage lockers. That would be cool. There are a few more zombies up there. Let's chuck all we've got into here. Okay, we're good. Oh, good. There's a water dispenser there as well that I could take. Put that on. Let's have a look at this car. Plug rent screwdriver. Yeah, there's nothing really in here. Uh, did, I, did I check the glove compartment? Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Check the office. Doubt there's anything in here, but it might be worth a look. Yeah, this, uh, this water dispenser is coming home with me. I keep seeing them and I keep meaning to get more of them. The fact that I keep the fact that I found another one here, I'm just gonna have to take it. Let's hop over the fence. We'll see what we can find in the warehouse. Hopefully, we can find an axe and we can use that to break down the rest of the doors, which will be nice. Box of nails, glue, Ooh, broccoli, more glue. Move the red paint to a different one, and then we can get rid of this crate. See what's in these back crates here. Oh, here we go. Get the rope. More silencers. These don't seem as rare as I thought they would be. Hmm. Hoping they'll be a lot rarer. A temp peg and that. I should probably be taking more of this stuff, but okay, that's fine. Can I go in this door? Okay. Disassemble door? Got anything here? Not really. Got one over there. A die cost truck, fish and chips. Why is that in the warehouse? Uh, really strange. Go on the side here. Art 
charcoal pipe wrench. Right, let's move the charcoal out onto the floor. Same with the pipe wrench, and then we can take these two apart, see what's behind them. Holding rods, hammer, right, anything in here. A supermarket cart. Can I take that? That would be very cool. Garlids, yes please. This is awesome already. A crowbar? Yep. No sledgehammer though. I'm trying to get tired. Yeah, there's at least two zombies. I think that's probably all that we're going to find in this warehouse, to be honest. Um, let's leave it there. I think that's fine. Didn't find Axe, which was a shame, but found a lot of stuff, especially that, that supermarket car. It's very cool. Dump that in the trailer. Okay, well, we've done pretty well to us. I'm pretty happy already. We've got most of the stuff we need. I think we need, like, one more scenic grass. That's probably it. So, um... Yeah, let's just let's just go to sleep. And I'll see you in the morning. Right, it's pretty early in the morning. That's um that's knocked down some of, some of these, I think. Go. What have we got in here? Uh actually should we put on our night vision? It's probably not the clearest for you guys. Let's put let's put it on. Are we painting set? Yes please. Hobby painting set, we've got so many now. Gas can hobby painting set again. Lead pipe. Finally got another lead pipe. No, nah, that's not really worth it. Anything in these ones? The mask, another baseball bat. I'll take the baseball bat. Gas can might be useful. Oh, I think we don't need this on anymore, do we? No, we're fine now. Cool. Right, let's keep going. Knock this one down. So what do we need? I think it's one more scenic grass, one more structure. I think, and maybe one more tracks, I think. I think that's all we need. So we've got a lot more sort of these lockups to explore. So hopefully, touch wood, we actually find what we need. And Logan's primary objective is done. Oh, oh, this is big. This one's huge. Oh, train tracks. That's all the train tracks. We just need scenic grass now. Take some of them. I don't know how much of them we need, but I'll just keep taking them if I, uh, as and when I feel like it. And it's trees and structure. Oh, I think that's both structures now. Oh, a hand axe. Oh, it's bad condition. Can we repair it? Unless we find some more glue. I've already stored the other glue. Structure again. Welding rods, plaster. Another tank kit would be nice, though. Oh, so much stuff. Take the plaster. Mm, okay, we're going to have to go. I'll go dump this stuff back in back in the trailer then, and then um, then we'll come back for the others. All right, the trailer's actually full now. Chuffle that in. Back to back to breaking everything down then I guess. Is a crowbar better for breaking stuff down? Than a hammer? Probably. I tried a crowbar last time before, didn't I? And it didn't work very well. Maybe it's like marginally better than the hammer. Oh, there we go. That didn't take much. Oh, there's nothing in here though. This one now then. Here we go, here we go. Painting set again. I'm gonna get in here. Some of them, some of them. Uh, okay, that's not that interesting. Take out these three more left here. No, it's just the ones outside. But we're gonna have to have a rest before we do the ones outside because um, exertion's getting pretty high. Nothing. Oh my god, here we go. Uh, wrench? Did we get a wrench before? I can't remember. Grab it anyway. Here we go with them. Another silencer? Do we need any more silencers? Probably not, but we'll take one anyway. Right, don't need any of them. We'll drop them on the floor though, so we can get to these back ones. The back ones? Anything? Welding rods? More, more plaster. Okay, sure. If we ever want to plaster the whole base, we've got enough. Okay, just one more, and then we're done, and we can rest up. And then, how many have we got? Eight, ten more to go? There must be a sledgehammer in one of them, surely. Surely, come on. There's not one in the warehouse. There must be one somewhere in here. I know West Point also has a hardware store, and the construction site might have a sledgehammer, but... Oh, nothing. Oh.
haven't actually heard that type of scream before. That's a bit... Not a very nice one. I haven't heard that one. Anyway, uh, let's rest up for a bit. Let's get sleep. Right, so we've done all the bin side. So we've just got to do the ones up here now. No zombies that way. That's nice. Okay, we're stuffed to the brim. Excellent. Any zombies up here? One at the end. Oh, we're fine. Make sure there isn't any more round the back here. Looks like we're alright. Can hear some though. I'm wondering whether there's uh, any in one of them. <gasps> more scenic grass. That might be it. <gasps> Railroad train set again. Magazine. Propane torch. Actually quite, quite good propane torch. Uh, still nothing like an axe though. Let's equip that one. Go from here. Yeah, so I've got four and then five on the other side. And then I'm done. Okay, so nine more. There must be. Must be a sledgehammer, surely. Here we go. Trolley. Trolley train set again. Uh, hobby sheet. Well, we one got them, got them, got them. Right. No. Okay, we're good. Hang on. One is open. Check the open one. Hobby Magazine 2 got that. Plaster of Paris. We've got enough Plaster of Paris, surely. Get rid of the metal bar. Actually, we don't even need that metal bar anymore. Let's just chuck it on the floor. I'll just leave it. There's definitely one in the a zombie in the lock ne next door. We'll come across him in a second. Come on, Logan. A few more hits. There we go, finally. That took forever. Uh, more magazines. Structure, definitely got enough structure now. Uh, another lead pipe, useful. In the welding rods. Tire pump, I'll take the tire pump. Can we just de deconstruct this table? There we go. Right, and can we get to the other bit there? Oh, more plaster. So much plaster in this place. Let's rest in here. There we go. Right. Get ready to fight. Get as far back as we can. There we go. There we go. Oh, we got some rounds though. More scenic grass. We must have enough now. Get cigarettes. Uh, let's take the extinguisher. Welding rods again. The rest though, I'm not overly fussed about. Oh, okay. Still no sledgehammer. Can't believe there's still no sledgehammer. Ridiculous. Here we go. Are we painting set? I can hear a zombie. I don't know where it is. Like, oh god, there's loads over there. More scenic grass. Deconstruct this table. We can just get to the rest of it. Don't need lee lit skirts. Don't really need a nearly broken hand axe either. Okay, we're good. So many generators again. More painting sets. Quite concerned about basically the other zombies noticing me knocking this door down. That would be a that'd be bad. Because there's about twenty over there. Building rods. More scenic grass and train tracks. I think that's all the train tracks we need. Hand axe actually that's decent condition. Let's pick it up now. Okay, yeah, that's all we need from that place anyway. Let's knock this one out. Okay, got one box. Nothing in it. Right, let's just uh, rest up a bit. And we'll go to sleep. Right, it's morning. Take out the rest of these. Oh, it is cold outside today. 0.6 degrees C. Oof, okay. Say it feels... F oh. Feels 5, 10 degrees colder than it actually is, so it's almost minus 10, it feels like. Oh, that pot. Come on. Need a sledgehammer. Ugh, more world ring rods. I don't really have the capacity for much more. No, but seriously, still no. No sledgehammer. Right, I think this is the last one. There's two storage lots now, and two lots of warehouses, and no sledgehammer. Very structure, I think we've already got enough of them. Seriously, yeah, no sledgehammer. Oh, that's frustrating. Can't see any zombies. Oh, they're all up there still, that's good. We'll just have a little quick turn around, just see if there's any interesting cars or anything in the parking lot. I doubt it, though. 
or if there's any other warehouses for that matter. I think it might just be the one. Yeah, literally nothing in this parking lot apart from an empty trailer. What's over there? Anything over there? Oh, a little burger place. Oh, a, a gas station as well. Oh, is it empty? How, how many zombies are in the gas station? Oh, quite a few. I was going to say I could have looked to see if I could uh, find a tow bar, but I'm not going to bother. Right, okay. Well, I think to rest our, our uh, journey to West Point has been a massive success. I think we've got everything we need now to actually make the model railway set, which is amazing. Just before I head back to Riverside, though, I am going to go up to see if I can cross this bridge up up here. Um, because it, it would be cool if I'm able to do that. Yeah, it's up here. We actually go up a highway. So there's a bridge up here that leads to, like, across the river, basically. And um, that's where the mall is and a bunch of other warehouses and a couple of little settlements. That's quite cool. But the bridge is normally, like, jam-packed with wrecks. Yeah, like this. Oh my god, there's a tank. Actually, it's not that many wrecks. But what I was thinking was I could just deconstruct the wrecks and uh, yeah, dismantle the car wrecks and get metalworking skill from them. Because I think they give quite a lot of metalworking. Yeah, 156 at the moment. 180, yeah. 30 apiece. So doing this means that we'll get to level 3 in absolutely no time. There we go. We're going to want to remove these two and then have a look at the condition of the tank because if we want that tank, we're going to have to move these. So one more and then we should be... Level 3. Boom. Level 3 metal working. Locked. Can we get in if we... Uh, oh no, that's the door there. <gasps> Actually get in. Hmm, there's no key around, which is a shame. Empty gas can. Oh, we could we could hotwire it. Tempted. Let's... Um, Let's look under the hood, see what the condition's like. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. It'd be cool to have it, but... A bit of a fixer-upper, really. Okay, we'll just keep disassembling these just for the uh, experience, I guess. Let's take all the metal sheets. <laughs> That's a little bunny hop. That was cute. Yeah, if I could technically go up... I'd need to dismantle this wreck. Dismantle that one and move it along. It's a lot of effort. I could technically do it though, if I really wanted to go up the mall in, in the car we've got. I'd have to just move these two cars, and then I could do it. Mm. Bit of a risk though, isn't it? I think. I think it's a risk anyway. We've already got everything we need, I feel like I'm just pushing my luck if I, uh, if I try going to the mall now. Oh god, cut myself, typical. Scratch upper arm. Disinfect it, and then bandage it. Oh, but that did get up our first aid. <laughs> okay, well, silver linings, I guess. Right, let's fix up this car, then. It's looking pretty good. We just need a better wind windshield, and we're done. I think we'll head back to Riverside the long way, although we don't really know where we're going. Hmm. I just need to follow the river, basically, and we'll be fine. Yeah, let's just, let's just go through West Point. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh my god. Oh my god, where did they all come from? Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Yeah, okay, yeah, but that's... I think that's rough. Yeah, this is where we were. Yeah, there's the red round over. Okay, I know where we are now. I don't know how we get back to Riverside. Oh, there was an ambulance there. Oh, that would that could have been cool. Could use that to lure them all. Oh. Oh well, well, let's save that for another time, I guess. Oh, hang on. There was no way up this way. I'm gonna have to find a different road. There we go. Okay. Does this go to Riverside? Or that direction? Uh that? No. No, 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 no. That's, that's the wrong way. 
That looks like it goes into a cul-de-sac and will probably be a dead end. Don't want to go down there. This looks more promising. There we go. Right. Okay, yeah, that's the farm. Right, okay. Hopefully now, this should be where we want to go. Just keep following this road and eventually we should link up to the road that we came back on and we can go back to Riverside. Might find some interesting stuff on the way back to us. There might be a couple of warehouses or stuff on the way. I don't know. It's literally, it's literally just a sledgehammer I need. That's what's so frustrating. All I want is a sledgehammer. Let's just have a look at this one. This one looks fairly abandoned. Leave the, leave the key in. Let's see if I can get in. Just on the off chance there happens to be a sledgehammer. No. Okay. Well, I tried. I will be honest with you guys, I've got no idea where I am. <laughs> just need to somehow loop back up. Going further up, I guess, at some point. And then that should be good. Go up here? Maybe this is the link. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what, though? That looks like some warehouses. That is a warehouse. Right, let's have a sneaky look. Radish seeds? That's not really what I was after, but okay. Uh, nope. Radish seeds. Farming volume 2. No. Okay, well, that's, that's disappointing. Check out the house. Have a look, see if there's anything worth taking from here. Probably not. No, not like it. So... I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I think I'm going to head back off to Riverside off camera because you don't really want to see the journey back. It'll be pretty boring. I'm pretty sure this is the road that I need to go up. If not, I'll, I'll get there. If I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll show you next episode. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked what we've seen, please leave a like and subscribe. If you've got any feedback, comments or anything, just let me know down below. Thank you to Seth who is my Patreon. Thank you, Seth. You are amazing. Thank you for supporting the channel. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.